Hi guys, welcome back. T today I want to show you a little bit um, about a recycled project. This here is a push pop lid. What I did is I cut off that little handle that was there and I sanded it with some 400 grit sandpaper. And then I painted it with some of these little um, enamel paints. All right, after that, I took some brown paper, just some regular old recycled paper, like, you know, trash paper, and I balled it up and stuffed it down in there to fill the hole. Put a little bit of glue, put a little bit more paper, a little bit of glue, a little bit more paper. Then I took some twine, and I cut it up, and I unraveled the twine like this. until I had individual pieces. Once I had enough of them, I put them back together in a group. And then I cut them at like one eighth inch pieces. Okay. Then I took a regular ordinary um, flower leaf looks like this. You get it in your um, fabric department or in your floral department at your local um, craft store. They're usually kind of like right next to that, um, like the silk flowers and stuff like that. Sometimes you can find them on vines. Then what I did, and I'll show you real quick how I did this. So I took some hot glue and I made myself a little pile. You can take some of this and put it in there now, or you can wait until it's done. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Just kind of don't touch it, though, because it's going to be hot with your finger. Okay. Then what you want to do is take your leaves cut off the little ball end of it, and then you're gonna press it down in there. I got one going to the left, one going to the right, and then I'm just gonna kinda put the leaves together like that. And I'm gonna push that up against it a little bit. Then I'm gonna take one, and I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller Stuff that down in there like that. Just gonna kind of stick that in the back for a second so I can lean against it. All right, now for this one, because it's a leftover leaf, I'm gonna glue these two together. That way I'm not wasting that and it doesn't look like an unfinished leaf. If your glue starts to cool off to where you can't stick anything else in it, just put a little bit on the bottom of the leaf and then stick it down in the hole that you want it in or the area that you want it in. All right, now you're gonna let this completely cool off. And I did this on paper because you can tear it off of the paper and you can still get the grip that you need. All right, now you should have something that looks very similar to this. All right, once you have that, then you need to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue right down in your push pop. Take some of this and put it around the edges just a little bit. Basically, you're just making hair very thin pieces going around it. 
and then you're going to stick this down inside there and the little pieces that you just pushed in there should start to pop back up there if not you can always just take a little bit and cut it and put it in there but I don't like that I got that leaf showing right there so I'm going to actually put a little bit of glue there looks like that leaf bent over in the process Right, and if you want to fill in that spot there, you can, or you can just kind of leave it with a little bit at the bottom. And there it is. Now all this hair and all, once the paint's completely dry, you can just brush that off. But there is a little recycled plant made out of a push pop lid. Once your paint is completely dry, which I did paint this with the paint over there, um, and it's still a little tacky right now, but just take a little bit of tape and pull it right off. Um, I would use scotch tape, not duct tape because duct tape might pull your paint off. Just use a little bit of that and it'll get all those little hair fibers off. Or you could just run it under some water, just don't get water in here because then you'll make all that icky. But that's it. And it's a little tiny house plant made from a regular floral arrangement. Now this is the plastic kind, but they do have at Michael's some that are um, silk. In fact, look at Michael's. They had a really nice selection of plants. In fact, subscribe below and click the bell because I'm going to be making a lot more plants made out of some regular ordinary house plants for those of you who don't have all of the um, plant punches so that you have a second alternative. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Like, subscribe, question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you next time.